Hello Scorpio, welcome to my channel. This is going to be a weekly reading for Sun, Moon and Rising from the 31st of July through to the 6th of August. We're going to do the sound bowl just for a single ping, just to tune into the energy. You can join me if you like. I'm going to take a breath in. And exhale. Okay. Scorpio, let's see what's going to happen for you this week. All right, we're going to do the Cross of Truth. It tells me where you're at, what you want, uh, what's working in your favor, what's the challenge, and the outcome. Okay, but I will try to keep this brief. Please remember this is a general reading, not a one to one reading. If you'd like a personal reading, you can check out my website. Information is in the description box below. Lay them all out and I'll tell you them afterwards, okay? Okay, I'm just going to clarify. So a lot of interesting energy that's happening this week um, across all the star signs actually. Um, there's a lot of um, culling taking place, a lot of uh, restructuring taking place. I'm seeing across all the readings, it's bizarre. People are really kind of stepping up to um, what's in the highest good and basically trimming the fat, just kind of getting rid of the stuff that is just kind of holding them back. Okay, and it's no different for you Scorpio. Now, where you are at the moment is a um, Knight of Pentacles, okay? Um, it's clarified by the Eight of Swords, uh, the Knight of Pentacles again, and the Page of Swords, okay? So, for me, it feels like at the moment, presently, you're feeling like everything is so bloody slow, you know? You're wanting information to come in. You're wanting to kind of see, uh, see a little bit of growth, a little bit of movement. Um, I'm feeling like this in the area of work, home, um, work in the home. I'm not seeing major kind of like love vibes here, but work in home. That's what I'm kind of getting here. It's it's like things are a bit slow at the moment for you, and it's just making you feel like ah, oh, so crazy. Okay, what you desire is you you basically are desiring something that um is uh. A bit more solid, a bit more stable, a bit more kind of grounded. Like you want a better home, you want your lifestyle to be kind of a little bit kind of uh, just more settled, solid, you know. And you recognize within you that in order to bring that in, uh, you need inspiration. You need a, a brand new project idea. You, you, you need something new. You need, you need something to kind of lift you out of this um, doldrum a little bit. It's not massive doldrum, but it's just like, oh, it's just taking so long. Like, I feel like I'm waiting and slow and blah, blah, blah. You're like going a little bit stir crazy in that department, right? Um, and you're wanting, the goal is to be, be happy, but to have like, um, an enjoyable work environment that is solid and secure and set and room for growth okay but y y you may be wanting something new you, you want that spark of inspiration we've got the um, four of wands okay clarified by the ace of wands the emperor and the lovers okay so we've got obviously two major arcanas over there and what that's telling me is you are re you're just dying to be inspired at the moment because you're so like stuck in a rut dying to be inspired so you can kind of take the lead on something and stop planning for the future and make those big strong choices but it still feels like you're on a back pedal now interestingly what's working in your favor is the five of wands now the five of wands can talk about um competition 
a, a competitive arena or um, uh, something where there's a bit of conflict um, surrounding you, particularly if people around you, maybe even in the workplace, um, all have a different idea about something and no one can sort of speak on board. The reason why this is happening in your favor is because that sort of that sort of energy surrounding you actually pushes you out of this hum, um, this humdrum, okay? Because out of that comes uh, the Eight of Wands, the Nine of Cups, and the Eight of Cups, okay? So what we see over here is it's like this environment, you've got, to, you've got to love all the environments you ever find yourselves in, even the shit ones, you know? Because the shit ones, sorry my French, but um, even the bad ones, <laughs> sometimes can pull us so much the one way that it's like a rubber band, like Bashar, as channeled by Daryl Anker, would say when you go too much in one way, when you let go of that rubber band, it goes choo, much faster into the future of the things you, you do prefer rather than things that you don't prefer, okay? So what I see here is because there's a little bit of like, mm, maybe even animosity in the workplace or people um, at home kind of like fighting or, you know, getting irritable with each other because there's a lot of irritable energy around here, it's basically pushing you out of it to the degree of like, no, enough's enough. I'm going to uh, charge forward towards my um, wish fulfillment. So you're walking away from this um, situation of feeling quite stagnant of any sort of conflict. <gasps> Excuse me. Sorry. It always comes in twos. Uh, and then you are following your heart's desire, which is really, really nice. Okay. So there's something here to do about... Um, Owning up to your dreams, your wish fulfillment, and um, claiming it, basically. And that's really going to be helping you this week. Now, on the flip side of the coin, the challenge this week is that even though you're you're dying for this, like, you know, inspiration to come and just to get yourself out of this, like, funk, um, it does feel like the things that you're doing are going to maybe have a disruption on your sense of equilibrium in the home front. Okay, and in uh, the past situation, we've got the Empress here. Okay, hope you can see that all right. Uh, clarified by the Justice, the Ten of Cups, and the Six of Cups. Excuse me. So what this is telling me is that it feels to me like perhaps people in the home front um, may not be on board with you kind of going off and wanting to do your own thing. Okay, uh, it could feel a little bit disjointed, a little bit out of balance. And uh, it could, it, yeah, I think it's uh, the, the biggest feeling I'm, I'm getting is kind of family, kind of the emotional body, unbalanced around you, because it's different, okay? Because it's changed. We've got the Six of Cups, which talks also about children sometimes, but it's also past nostalgic kind of energy. So the people around you, the environment around you, are used to a certain kind of habit, used to a certain vibe. And because you are now walking away, because you're following your heart, Okay, it changes again, and it could put people, it could put people's noses out of joint. All right, so the outcome of the week is you basically standing in your power. Okay, strength is here. It basically this card always says that you have more strength in you than you realize. Okay, she tames her inner beast with courage, determination, and stamina. It's clarified by the seven of pentacles, the six of wands, and the strength card again. So, we do have quite a few repeating cards here for you. Uh, Scorpio. The outcome of the week is once you've decided what it is that you need to do, the thing that you need to walk away so you can go towards your wish fulfillment because you're damn tired of feeling stuck, right? Yes, it's going to put people's uh, noses out of joint, but ultimately you are you're looking at the energy that you put into things and you're recognizing that you're not getting out of it what you put in. So this is why you're rising yourself up and moving forward, okay? And perhaps you are also displaying an element of strength to others where they're kind of like noticing, oh wow, Scorpio, like you are, you rise above this. You uh, didn't let this get to you. Instead of allowing life to happen to you, you happen to life. And I feel like others are seeing that too, but I do feel that you're still a bit like, ah, oh, I hope this is okay, I hope this is okay, because you know that there are people that are not on board with this new direction you're going on, um, going in, um, but secretly they, they respect you. So um, it's a really interesting week for you. 
So that's what I have for you. I hope it helped. I hope it resonated. Uh, please do give me a thumbs up if you do like this reading. It helps to grow my channel and lets me know if I should continue with these readings because it does take quite a bit of time. Um, but thank you for watching. Thank you for subscribing. It's totally free. And I'll see you next time. Take care.